The next elbow technique is called Sak Nan. This is your up elbow. So we're in our guard. You can do it off the left or right. My elbow is going to travel straight from point A to point B. So think of this triangle formation. It's going to be following that path. So like all other elbows, I'm going to step towards the target. If I'm throwing off the rear, there's a bit of a twist. If I'm throwing off the lead, I'm just leading with that hip. This one elbow is going up straight towards the target and your motion is almost as if you're combing your hair. So other side's blocking as usual. Comb your hair like you're a cool guy, right? So off the rear, off the lead, got both, right? Now you can do this either up or you can do it forward. You can kind of do a little bit of both. Now this elbow is great if you're on the inside of a grip. Someone reaches around to grab your neck and you're on the inside, boom. It's a nice uppercut to the chin. You can also use it to stab forward if they're in a nice tight shell guard and you want to pierce in between the arms. <laughs> or if they grab around, uppercut. <laughs> so, lead. <laughs> Rear. <laughs> Both. <laughs> right? Now, these elbow techniques, not only are they going to cut up the face bad, you can do a lot of damage. And I want you to think of them almost as a replacement for close range punches. Now in boxing, they teach nice tight hooks, nice tight uppercuts. Muay Thai, you don't do that because instead of a nice tight hook, you have a tight side elbow. Instead of a nice tight uppercut, you have a tight up elbow. The elbows are much more powerful than the punches. So from the beginning. <laughs> Suck nut. 